I'm Funny Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Black Lagoon chapter 112. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I'm just on a non-stop high-speed struggle train heading into chaos and mm, it's getting faster by the second. We're talking hyperspeed, panic attack levels of struggle up in y'all. I'm struggling to keep a roof over my head, and now, medical expenses. But if you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel and myself alive. Feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, last chapter, oh, the purge of the fingers began, and woo was it brutal, and woo was it badass. But, but. Remember, we gotta make sure uh, Le Major gets away. Yeah, kitty, we gotta make sure. Otherwise, it's no good. But anyways, because remember, we promised to help because uh, Le Major brought Le Fingers um, into the trap. Promised to help her get away. So... Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. It's time to sell accounts, Lemajer. What if we get into a shootout with the, um, Vista, wait, Vistaniki? Will you try to reason with them to let us go? Oh, we'll get the hell out of here, and it won't hurt our pockets if they kill her, right? <laughs> That's true. And this chapter is titled Leon Sombre, Part 11. Yeah. Shit, here you can't either. Where's the exit? Ooh. Let me sure. Ooh. Ooh, we got a shootout now, too. This gun art is beautiful. This gunfight is beautiful. And you know what's sad? Them anime onlys will probably never see this. Because they don't like to read, well, they like to read subtitles. But they won't read manga for some reason. Yep. I don't understand. Trust me, I don't understand it either. Oh, God, there's that gun. It just went to flying. Woo! You're scum! The pot said to the kettle. Woo! Oh! <gasps> Ooh, this combat is fluid and it is beautiful. Oh, we getting punches. We getting kicks. I want to see some pigtails being uh, being pulled. I want to see some some claws going. Because, bitch, this is a cat fight. Let's be real. Ooh, wait, did, was that a headbutt, I see? Or at least an attempted one. Because why, when in doubt, headbutt? That's why. That's just a freaking trope at this point. Ooh. Fucking knew it! I knew that one day you would betray us, disgusting fu- <laughs> Disgusting fucking lesbo! <laughs> this bitch just called him sure a disgusting fucking lesbo! Can you believe it, Keys? I know, right? Kitty, I know you want to play fetch. You gotta wait. Go scratch your post. Or come help me. Oh, man. C -c -c Damn you! I used to hate you. Given the slightest opportunity, I've, I, I, have, I have always been compared to you for being the last to join the group. Damn bitch, you're nothing but a parasite! And after all you've done, you deserve the death penalty, let me sure. Fucking die, dirt already, you useless scum! Die, die, said die! Hello, baby. Raise her head. Hello, baby. Raise her head a little higher. Woo! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Okay, now this. You know how mofos like to abuse the yes queen moment. Oh, bitch, this is a yes queen. This is a yes queen! Yee! Yes, Ray! That was beautiful. Baby just lift her head a little higher. So, bitch, how's your head now? The 
It's probably gotten some complaints. <laughs> um, the cavalry has arrived. Since you're kind of clumsy, I think you're going to need some help here. By now you should have ran away. I was the one who led you here. I knew I couldn't run away until I could see uh, with my own eyes that they were dead. Oh, bitch, please. You couldn't find an exit. Hmm, although your face does not show it, you are very serious. It's okay to be faithful and straight and whatever, but... He thinks there's... <laughs> your face does not show it you are very serious it's okay to be faithful and straight and whatever but you have to put yourself first oh god we go in this route today and now well anyway downstairs is, uh, is the club right if we continue this way we can reach the exit without coming across um the avastiniki by now the um by us uh yeah oh my god the yes, Astiskis, there we go, should have killed your teammates. You still have a long way to go if you want to work in this city. Although the city seems to be lawless and anarchic, it is not like that at all. There is there is a code of anarchy, anarchy that we have to follow, you know. Okay, this is kind of an oxymoron, okay? Because anarchy is, is lawless. There's no laws. There's nothing. If there is a code, that, that that's a law. That, that's... What what the fuck is this? Nah, that that's that's not anarchy. That 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 there's some sort of law. That's like extreme libertarianism, if you ask me. Because that's a that's a basic thing. It's a ba it's just a basic necessity. That's like that's libertarianism, borderline anarchy, like extreme libertarianism. There. The moment you ignored it and kept pushing, it was um it was known that you would fail. I'm so like, what the fuck? Oh, blood. Look, there's another girl. And to think that someone has survived the lead storm. But it's too much. She has just some minutes left, judging by the amount of blood. Ooh, the smell of blood is getting stronger. It's over here. Oh, so it's you. I see you managed to escape. I'm glad. Le Pousse, Le Major, all this, did you do that? It was to sell the grudge, um, I, oh, it was to sell the grudge I felt, Auriculaire. <laughs> again, I screwed her up again, and all for Le Major, me, I have been nothing but a bad leader. What happened here in, uh, in the Nigeria, too, they were both my fault. I shouldn't have let go of um, the previous uh, auricular, um, auricular writ, uh that time. And I should have turned around, uh, like you said. Stop, Thumb. I knew that this was a trap. I knew you would betray me, but I wanted to believe in you. Bye, bitch. And no, this ain't, no bitch ain't being racist. Nah, she just killing her. There's, cause let's be fucking real. If this manga got an, oh, dude, this manga would not survive in the West. No fucking way. Not with these PC pandas. Even though I'm going to say this about Black Lagoon. Black Lagoon is the most diverse series you will ever read in your life. But guess what? It ain't woke enough for these motherfuckers. If Percy Jackson, if the Percy Jackson series ain't woke enough for motherfuckers, neither is this one. I am just saying, and I'm dead ass serious too. I'm I'm really serious. People uh, like these woke mofo's have asked uh, Rick Riordan to rewrite the series because it's not woke enough. They're uh, they were asking him to rewrite um, the gay character and uh, the Native American character. I was like, "Are you fucking for real?" And he said, "No, I'm not doing that. Fuck you. <laughs> You've done the right thing." This chick, just to get profits for herself and thus get ahead, she tries to fuck you up by trying to load you with great responsibility on your back so that you will die eventually. She was a complete son of a bitch who took advantage of others. Ah! Woo! Hold up. Hold up. Let's read.
read this again here. You have done the right thing, this chick, just to get profits for herself and thus get ahead. She tries to fuck you up by trying to load you with a great responsibility on your back so that you will die eventually. She was a complete son of a bitch who took advantage of others. You know what that is? It's basically guilt trip, and let's be goddamn real. I have been the victim of this. I have. I know about the guilt tripping. I have been the victim of it. If you have been a victim of guilt tripping, you know this. I have been taken advantage of. And it, it uh, my kindness has been taken advantage of in the worst way. I'm kind of stuck in this situation because of it. Don't let motherfuckers take advantage of you. Nah. Nah. Hey, you. I thought I'd feel better, but I feel like I just swallowed a laxative while hungry. Oh, I thought you were shameless and all, but you're pretty sensitive. I think a person is more attractive when they are modest. There's nothing wrong with someone who clings to what is already done. Uh, she was more, uh, one more accomplice. She was one of them. You did the right thing by killing her. Do not worry. It's simple. She lost the bet and you won. Now everything is completely finished. Uh, the only thing left... Um, it is lo The only thing left is looking for it and keep going straight. I'm envious of your ability uh, to find solutions, Revy. Do, Revy, I am envious of you, woman. Well, of course, the secret of life is not to lose heart over nonsense. This fucking writing. This was amazing. I gotta read this again. This was beautiful stuff here. Do not, oh God. Do not worry. It's simple. She lost the bet and you won. Now everything is completely finished. The only thing left is looking forward and keep going straight. What's done is done. Can't do shit about it now. So all you can do is just keep going forward. I love it. I love it so much. And uh, Revy, I, I love you. I love this line from Revy as well. Well, of course, the secret of life is not to lose heart over nonsense. It's true. Don't let your heart dwell on stupid ass bullshit. Don't let your heart dwell on things that can't be changed. <sighs> Unfortunately, for some things, it's a process. Like for me with grieving, because I've been in the grieving process for a long time. And unfortunately, it had to, I had to have a small reset I had a setback because unfortunately this month another friend of mine died. So yeah, so I'm, I'm having to deal with that. But there's nothing I could do to change about it. So there's certain things like that. But got but gotta take your time on that, and then you can't. Uh, but I think there's more to it. You can't lose when she's saying lose heart. You can't, like, lose your will to live. You can't just, like, stop living because of, some, because of something that you can't change. You have to keep going. You have to. Oh, that's what she also means by nonsense, is that. It's something you can't change. Now, if you're, she's also, you can also interpret it as, I, I kind of interpret it as, um, in terms of when she's talking about nonsense, also just, like, bullshit in general. Because of what this bitch was doing to Le Monsieur. Because there was a lot of drama, a lot of bullshit, and she was trying to guilt trip Le Monsieur too. So that was some bullshit. So, like, you can ha you have that aspect with um, a lot of the this bullshit drama and gossip crap. Oh, I know it's a, it's a guilty pleasure. I know it's a guilty pleasure. But motherfucker, th th nah, it ain't worth it. The negativity and the toxicity just ain't worth dealing with. And I, uh, I was bad and I, I'm going to say this, I'm going to just say this. I was bad. My curiosity got the best of me and I was looking at it because you know, the gossiper in me, the gossiper in most women I was looking at some of the stupid drama. And I just keep looking at it, and I've been looking at it a lot. I'm just like, because, you know, I'm just curious. And I'm like, this is some of the stupidest shit I have ever seen. And 
I think about, uh, like, I see all this shit on my YouTube feed, subscription feed, and on my Twitter timeline, and I'm like, there's other shit going on that nobody's talking about, like, manga chapters being banned, or, you know, some people have talked about Manga Plus, not as much as I have, I'm still not sponsored by them, but you know what I mean. There's other shit that people aren't talking, the thing that gets me the most is these people are all anti-censorship, censorship, but they don't talk about, you know, manga chapters getting banned. It really baffles me. I'm so confused by this. And I'm real, uh, and I've really gotten to the point, it's like, these motherfuckers are content farms. They are not even worth dealing with. These are stupid. I'm just done with it. I'm done with the stupidity. I'm done with the toxicity. I already had to deal toxicity with toxicity in the protest community. I'm not dealing with this shit anymore either. I've and you've had to learn. I've had to learn the hard way, and hopefully you guys don't have to learn the hard way about toxicity in your life. It just ain't worth it. And why I'm bringing this up because it ties into what Revy said. The secret of life is not to lose heart over nonsense. Yeah. Just, and also to not lose heart over nonsense is to not let that toxicity get to you. This, it's, especially when it's bullshit toxicity like this. Why are you letting it get to you? Why are you letting Twitter get to you? Why are you letting bullshit YouTube stuff get to you? Um, why are you letting a small sect of Twitter define what the platform is? It really frustrates me when I see people do that. It pisses me off so much. But... Nah, maybe that's just me. But anyways, overall with this chapter, I really do love this chapter. I love how um, I'm going to wait until probably next chapter to give my thoughts on um, the overall arc uh, slash fight because I think we got one more chapter left But um, of this. But I really, really do like this chapter. I love the mess the underlying message of it in particular. I think it's so important. Um, especially, remember what this is. It said at the... Um, uh, the top of, uh, oh my God, the first line of this chapter is time to settle your account. It's time to settle accounts. She's settling everything. She's selling everything. She getting her closure and then getting the fuck out. And I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you guys think of this chapter of Black Lagoon? Can you, um, relate to it, especially with what Revy said at the end of the chapter? I really love it. I love what Revy said at the end of the chapter. It just really hits me deep. I'm very curious if you guys relate to it. And um, how do you guys think how Les Majeur settled everything was executed? I thought the gunfight was beautiful. And I loved how she, I loved how Les Majeur was the one to kill Lapoos. Um, actually, I'll make sure I'm right on this one. That, that was her name. So I might have fucked up. Yes, that's what I thought. Uh, what do you think about how she killed Lapoose and what Revy said about Lapoose? I thought what Revy said about Lapoose was fantastic. And ultimately what this was in terms of settling her debts was to, to get rid of that toxicity and to move forward. That's what it was to me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more Black Lagoon content. And I think I'm like one of the only people that cover Black Lagoon too. Um, there's a few ways you could do that. Donate to my cash at PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerd Against, I will be seeing you later. Bye.